Jake here, and uh, in this video we're going to take a look at uh, Win32 Gulu Worm infection. And uh, Win32 Gulu Worm was a worm that was spread into uh, machines running Windows 98, Windows 2000, Windows Me, and Windows XP in uh, 2003. It would be a worm that would drive in an email attachment, and uh, once you've opened up the worm, it will basically destroy the entire Windows operating system, so you won't be able to run files. It will uh, also do a lot more to that. When the user executes the program, it displays a fake error, saying that Microsoft Windows has encountered a problem, and uh, once you send the error report, it will... Uh, it will close it, it will remove the taskbar, the desktop icons, and open various different windows. And uh, eject the CD-ROM tray of the computer and display a message. And uh, when you reboot the machine, it will uh, infect the operating system so any executable file will be broken. So uh, the worm copies itself basically to every attribute in the root folder of the C drive as rundal32.exe and modifies the startup keys to the following extensions so uh, it's a pretty bad worm so uh, we'll go ahead and we'll run the uh, worm actually on a virtual computer today and we'll show you the attack so uh, we'll be using a Windows XP computer here um, the worm will not work on Windows 8 or Windows uh, our Windows um, 10, although the full payload won't work, although the worm will execute on those operating systems. However, the entire destruction of the operating system will only destroy Windows uh, Vista computers, Windows XP computers, Windows 98 computers, and Windows uh, 7 computers. The other operating systems won't have the full infection, so, if you crap. so uh, that's why we're going to run it on an XP environment. So uh, we'll go ahead to our desktop here and we'll uh, call up uh, the malware. Alright. I'm just going to drag it down here. Put it into our virtual computer. Sorry about that Windows Defender got in the way there. Alright, so here's the worm. Make this full screen and we'll uh, take it out of the zip file. Alright, so once we execute the uh, Google worm, we get the uh, message saying that Windows has encountered a problem and needs to close. And um, by clicking send and close it opens up a whole bunch of standard windows dialog boxes here and if you give it a minute it will also eject the cd-rom the tray will eject and it also display a, a warning saying your computer is now wine why because it had nothing to do with it i thought why not make a re an evil reminder of now your computer is in my power. Windows sucks. I can't stand it anymore. Windows will always suck. Wake up, people. It's a scam. You don't need to buy a faster computer. You need a better operating system. Microsoft continually makes money by selling the latest, greatest Windows. The latest Windows version is always the most insignificant yet, slowing down your computer. Also, now you have to upgrade all your software because different Windows versions are not compatible for each other. A hidden cost mentioned at all. It's part of a scam. Capitalism sucks. Communism sucks. And uh, that is the message you get. And when you click the uh, the message, it also kills the Explore shell, so your uh, desktop icons are disappearing. And uh, by rebooting the infected machine, we will see the damage it's done when Windows restarts.
so we're just booting up into Windows and we'll see that our icons are not there because it has killed the explore shell, the uh, explore.exe process that requires your desktop to run and it's also overrated every executable on the system so when you run any program it will uh, not let you run anything so the whole computer is going to be basically k-hooped and you would have to reinstall Windows if you're infected by this variant as you will see in a minute so now we're just booting up the computer and we won't get our start menu we'll just have our wallpaper so at this point of time if we hit the control elite keys um, you'll get task manager to open but um, you'll see critical win critical uh, Windows critical update that's actually the worm right there and if you click file you will see that the run thing has been gone from the uh, from the file menu there's no more option to run anything so uh, we'll uh, hit control alt delete again and uh, if we end the uh, Windows critical update process we can get back to our desktop however it relaunches itself several times and if we uh, try to run any file it will no longer execute. We also have another uh, icon here on the desktop that was created by the worm. And uh, if you uh, check the C check uh, my computer, you will no longer see the C drive because the virus and the spy the, uh, the worm is uh, hidden the C drive, so you can't see it anymore. By trying to open anything up, like a uh, note WordPad, it will not open up. We will try to open up uh, Paint or and that won't open up. We'll try to open up uh, Solitaire. That won't open up. Uh, we'll try to open up anything. Outlook Express. Uh, we'll try anything that you try to literally open up, but will not open up anymore. So everything on this uh, machine, except for Internet Explorer, is no, no longer will open. And every time you open it up, you'll see that it creates a Windows critical update process. That is actually the worm overwriting itself, mocking every uh, act thing you try to do. So at this point of time you would have to reinstall Windows because everything on the computer and every file is infected. You can't open up any programs or anything like that. So uh, if you and uh, if you take a look under the processes you will see you get the process email worm win thirty two dot guru dot exe and um, yeah so basically which really stops you from opening up any program. And uh, even if you hit the Windows key in R, you will have restrictions, so you can't access the run box. So at this time, this uh, worm has uh, infected the entire operating system, and if you reboot the machine, you'll get the exact same problem. So uh, that is a look at the Win32 Gorilla Worm and how it destroys a Windows XP computer. And at this time, if you got infected by it, you would have to reinstall Windows to fix your computer. And uh, if you enjoyed my videos, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.